Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you two of my favorite cleaning products that I think are really, really useful for mums to have. I have three children and I also have a dog and I'm renting my house, which has cream carpets throughout. So I have all sorts of things ending up on my carpet, such as juice, wee, poo, sick, all sorts. Because of this, I first invested in a Bissell spot cleaner, which I absolutely love. It's amazing for quick spillages, anything that ends up on the floor, you can just whip it out the cupboard and clean it up really quickly. And I also invested in a Vax Duo carpet cleaner. It is one of the older models, I think, and it's one of the cheaper models, but I wanted it just to kind of freshen up the carpets, kind of get out some of the, the stains that end up on the floor. Kids walking through the hallway with their muddy wellies, dropping all sorts of things. So I want to share those two products with you and share some of the pros and cons of these products and share with you whether it's worth getting or not. So I'm going to start with the Vax Dual Power Carpet Cleaner first of all. I'll show you how I use this and I'm just going to demonstrate on my hallway carpet because it hasn't been done for a while so this will give you a good idea of how much dirt that it can really pick up. So you take off this tank, it tells you exactly where to fill up the water and then you use the cap to put this solution in. So you should just need one capful to put into just normal cold water. And I buy the Vax Carpet Cleaner because it says you have to use that solution only and if you kind of buy any alternative carpet cleaner they won't um, help you if your machine breaks or anything like that so just make sure you stick to the Vax carpet cleaner there's loads of different scents that you can buy I just got this rose burst scent and they're about 15 pounds on Amazon some of the other scents are a bit cheaper so you fill it up and you clip it in just like that it's really easy to fill up really easy to take the two tanks off I'm just going to give my carpet a quick hoover first of all with my Dyson just to make sure I've cleaned up all the kind of dog hair and dirt and things like that because I don't want the Vax carpet cleaner to be sucking up too much dirt. We want it to really be deep cleaning the carpet. hard to show the stains on my carpet because of the colour and the lighting. I don't know if you can really see but there are lots of kind of drips and all sorts of different stains on the carpet, probably from drinks, probably from carrying red wine <laughs> from kitchen to lounge. Um, so yeah, so they're the kind of stains that I need to get out and also obviously we walk through the hallway a lot in shoes so there's mud and, and things like that. So. First thing to note is the hoover is really, really heavy. Um, obviously it's probably kind of to be expected because it's you know, a big tank, a big machine, and it's got loads of water in, but it does mean it's quite hard to maneuver. So don't expect it to kind of move around like a normal hoover. It is really heavy and it's quite awkward to steer. So at the top, and I'll show you in a minute, there's a handle and there's a red button that you need to keep your hand on in order for the water to come out. So you need to make sure you're keeping your hand on this if you want water. So I do tend to go over the carpet first, squirting out the water, and then a lot of the times I take my hand off the squeezer just so I can keep going over and over and sucking up the water and the dirt. Otherwise as well, you'll find out that your water will run out really quickly.
I guess a couple of things to note here is the machine, it's heavy, it is heavy. It's very, very loud as well, so bear that in mind. It's quite awkward to steer, and this lead, I find, gets in the way a lot. I'm having to kind of kick it out the way a lot as I'm going forward and back. So I'm just showing you here where you have to squeeze the handle. You put your foot on that orange button at the bottom to release the handle in order to pull it back and then you have to squeeze that red button to push the water out. trying to suck up kind of any excess water that's been left on the carpet so I'm not currently squirting out any water at this point but you can kind of see all the dirt collecting and all the sludge collecting. These bits kind of get left behind on the carpet a lot as you start to really clean your carpet these big clumps of sludge get left behind so I don't know if it's the pet hair but I do have to kind of go around a lot of the time and collect up all this sludge and pick it up off the carpets. So going over this one patch here, you can see the stains haven't quite gone yet. So I find that with this particular hoover, you do need to kind of go over it a couple of times. It's not like you just run it over the stain one time and it's gone. I find you kind of have to go over it a couple of times to really get that stain out if you have one. So I will need to go back over this carpet again. But I'm stopping here because the water has run out. You can see the dirt that's collected, but that also gives you an idea of how long the water lasts. So it doesn't last very long. I've only done about three quarters of the hallway and the water has run out. So you can imagine if you're doing a big room, like your lounge, you're gonna have to keep filling up the tank quite often. But here is all the dirt I've collected from three quarters of my hallway. Absolutely disgusting. What I am showing you here as well is where all the sludge is collected. On the newer models you can take that hose off where I just pointed but on mine you have to turn it upside down and take all the screws off which I'm not going to do. So I, for today I've literally just stuck a knife into this kind of hooded area and kind of dug out all the sludge so you can see what collects in the brushes. Pretty gross hey. So that's my small demonstration of the Vax Jewel Power Carpet Cleaner. It's heavy, it's a bit awkward to steer, the water runs out really quickly, you have to keep filling it up, it's very loud. However, if you are on a budget, this £100 Vax Carpet Cleaner really is going to do the job to freshen up your carpets, especially if you're renting a house like I am. So it's time to move on to my favourite cleaner, the Bissell Spot Cleaner. I absolutely love this machine. It is so perfect for the quick spillage or stain, especially when you have kids and they drop something. It is just amazing. It's a really light machine. It's easy to use, easy to carry. You can quickly plug it in, go over to the stain, suck it up. It doesn't take much effort and it gets it out. So. I'm going to show this on my stairs where I've got a few stains on here. So we've done the hallway with the Vax and now I'm going to show you the stairs with the Bissell Spot Cleaner because it's obviously easier to get up and down the stairs with the Spot Cleaner and I've got a few stains on there from going up and down the stairs. So same as the hallway, I'm going to give this a quick hoover first with the Dyson just to suck up all the kind of dog hair and dirt and dust, everything that I don't want going into the Bissell Spot Cleaner. So it's really easy to fill up, you just unclip this water tank on the left hand side, it comes off really easy. It's got a little rubber stopper in the top which you just need to pull out and there's guidance on the side so if you're doing a small area it tells you how much water and formula to put in and if you're doing a large area it also tells you how much water and formula to put in. I'm using the Bissell cleaner, again stick with the one that goes with your machine, this is a Febreze one so it's obviously going to smell really really nice, anything with Febreze in I think smells really good. So I'm just filling up the tank with cold water first 
and then once I've got to that line I will top it up with the booster. I'm going to start with one capful first and just see how far up to the line it goes. I'm probably going to need two capfuls to get to that top line. Yeah, just going to need another one to top it up. So about two capfuls for a large area. So the formula will last you quite a long time. So you pop that rubber stopper back in and really easily slot that water tank back onto the side of the machine as simple as that and then you're ready to go it's really light to carry and you can plug it in it's got a nice long lead and that red button is the start button when the machine is on the floor it's quite quiet it's not too loud but when you lift it up that's when it's really loud so all you need to do is press that red button, same as on the vax, you need to hold the button down and that will allow the water to come out and then you drag it backwards to suck the water up. So again, I tend to hold the button, let a good amount of water out, give the carpet a good clean and then I go back over the carpets again without pressing the water button just to kind of suck up any excess water and not leave it too wet. So that tank lasted for the whole of the stairs which is really good and you can see how much dirty water we've got in the other tank. Really really disgusting, those stairs definitely needed a clean. I'm just going to pour it into the sink, I'd normally pour it down the toilet but just to show you the dirty water coming out and what I've collected. And then I'm just rinsing it out with some clean water because again it collects a load of sludge inside and then you just clip it back on wrap the wire back around, put it back in the cupboard and you're done. Nice and easy. So to be honest, I don't have any cons for this machine. I just love it. I think it's just really, really easy to use, really quick to use when you have to quickly get up a spillage as fast as you can before it really sets in and stains. So I only have pros for this machine. So these two work really well together, the spot cleaner for quick spillages, the vax if you want to do a deeper clean and you're on a budget, but generally they do really do a good clean on the carpets. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video really useful. I do highly recommend the Bissell Spot Cleaner, it's my absolute favourite cleaning product. If you enjoy videos about motherhood and cleaning, then do go ahead and subscribe and I hope to see you on my next video. Take care, bye bye.